Good morning children. A warm welcome to Orugallu Badi channel under the Department of School Education, Varangal Urban District. A bridge course for SSC students. Subject, English. How are you all? Hope you all are fine. Here I am, Patti Padma, working as school assistant English, JPHS Boys Kamalapur, Kamalapur Mandal, Varangal Urban District, Telangana. Today, here I am going to explain a minor discourse profile. Now, let us observe how a profile is written and what are the features of a profile. Then, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to clarify whether you have followed the features or not. Are you ready children? Yes, here we go. These are the Objectives of today's lesson profile. By the end of this session, you will be able to understand the features of profile and to find different types of profile writing. And also, you will be prepared a fine profile individually and collaboratively. Do you want to write a short description of someone's life and their character and their work? and their interests. Are you ready? Before, you must to know the definition of a profile. A profile is an outline or a short article giving the description of a person. And it focuses to provide readers with basic information about the person and give them a sense of the person's character. Children, you might have understood that a description of a person and his traits is a profile. Let's observe. How can we write a profile? Dear children, while writing the profile, you should include the information below. There must be the name of the person, date of birth, and place of birth, education, Occupation, nationality, information about family, main personality traits, special contribution, and literary works, why people like or respect, awards and honors if any, how he or she is special, highlights the attributes which make him or her an exemptional being, and lastly, date of death. These are the main features of the profile while you are writing. While writing the profile, we should keep it in mind these points to remember. A profile is always written in third person. For example, he is the most popular personality. I am the most popular personality. And she is one of the best sports women in India. In this example, he and she is the third person. So, always we have to write the profile in the third person only. And important to remember, only significant and impressive points are to be included. And unnecessary or unrelated points to be omitted. Here also one example. He got the Bharat Ratna in 1997. Yes, it is an important thing. But he had got the white hair. Is it important? No, not at all. So we have to omit such kind of unnecessary and uh, unrelated points. An important stuff to remember while writing the profile. It should convey factual information. And predictions are to be neglected. Let's see one example. Abdul Kalam is known as the Missile Man of India. Yes, this is the fact that everyone knew. But whereas Raju will become the PM of India? Do he become really the PM of India? No, he may or may not. So predictions like this statement we should not use while writing a profile. So every time while writing a profile, we have to take care of convey factual information only. A key point to remember while writing the profile. 
that is use proper punctuation marks and spellings you know children pretty well that the punctuation marks and spelling makes a key role while writing anything in english am i right are you agree with me yes and then organize the information in a sequential order and also use linkers wherever necessary that is as and when since etc you have to link the sentences by using linkers while writing a paragraph profile now let's observe the types of profile majorly we can find many types of profiles but today here we are discussing only two kinds of profiles those are tabular form of profile and paragraph form of profile so we can write a profile in a tabular form and a paragraph form then how to write a tabular form of profile while writing a tabular form of profile we must take care of some instance that is collect all the essential information about the person from various sources like books newspapers magazines internet etc and draw a table and insert the information regarding the person and also write the information as short as possible so children you might have already gathered that information from various sources and also you must to insert it into your table that you have drawn because it is a minor discourse here it is an example of a profile in a tabular form so it is a table that is drawn either left side points to be covered and details of the person is written on the right side here i opted mr apj abdul kalam's profile name dr abul pakir jainul abdin abdul kalam date and place of birth 15th october 1931 rameshwaram tamil nadu about his family mother asia ma father jainul abdin three brothers and one sister education schooling at rameshwaram st joseph's college tiruchirappalli madras institute of technology occupation or profession professor author aerospace scientist nationality indian main personality traits evolution of isro's launch vehicle program and operationalization of agni and prithvi missiles his literary works wings of fire ignited minds india 2020 a vision for new millennium and my journey honors and awards doctorates from 30 universities padma bhushan in the year of 1981 padma vibhushan 1990 and bharat ratna 1997 presidency 11th president of india that was 25th july 2002 to 25th july 2007 Dead, 27th July 2015. So, this is the way to write a profile in a tabular form. After the tabular form of profile, we must to know how to write a paragraph form of profile. Before that, keep all the essential information about the person in a table if possible. write a title opt for the person write profile in 2 3 or 4 paragraphs as it is the minor discourse organize the paras each para has to deal with one idea so my dear children a paragraph form of profile resembles the biographical sketch because it is written in third person and here are some of the pics of abj abdul kalam while receiving some of the honors and awards here is the profile of mr apj abdul kalam the missile man of india that i have to written for you children in a tabular form and 
a paragraph form. Each para has to deal with two or three points. Now, let's read the first para. Dr. Abul Pakir Jainul Abdin Abdul Kalam was born on 15th October 1931 at Rameshwaram in Tamil Nadu. His mother was Ashyama and father Jainul Abdin. He has three brothers and one sister. Here are some more points and details of Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the missile man of India, in a tabular form and paragraph form. This is the second para about his education and profession. He did his schooling at Rameshwaram. He studied at St. Joseph's College in Tiruchirappalli and completed his professional course at Madras Institute of Technology. He stepped into the shoes of many professions such as a professor, author and an aerospace scientist. Here also some more important points of profile of Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the missile man of India in a tabular form and in paragraph form. This is the third para has to deal with his main personality traits and literary works. And the para is, he played a key role in the evolution of ISRO's launch vehicle program and in the operationalization of Agni Prithvi missiles. The four important literary pursuits of Kalam are Wings of Fire, India 2020, A Vision for the New Millennium, My Journey and Ignited Minds. Here very important points in the profile of Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the missile man of India in a tabular form and in a paragraph form. This is the fourth para has to deal with his honors and awards and presidency. And the para is, he was honored with a doctorate from 30 universities. He got the awards like Padma Bhushan in 1981 and Padma Vibhushan in 1990. He also got the most prestigious award like Bharat Ratna in 1997. He was elected as 11th President of India on 25th July 2002 to 25th July 2007. He died on 27th July 2015. Children, while trying to write a profile, you have to follow a process. This is the process of writing a profile. First of all, you have to write a profile in a tabular form or a paragraph form individually. After that, you have to check all these things. Yes, edit the written work by verifying if all the features are covered in your profile writing and there is any excess word used and if there is any word missing in your writing and there is any wrong use of tense in your writing. You, you have to check all these things and then Discuss in your group and make a refined version of your profile writing and present it before the class and invite the feedback from other groups as well as from your friends. Now we have come on end of our lesson profile. Let us recapitulate what we have been discussing here. I hope you learned all these things. What a profile is and the different types of profiles and how to write a profile. This is an assignment I wish to give you. Okay. Write a profile in a tabular form for the information given below. The information is in paragraph form, but you have to write in a tabular form of profile about Mr. Kaloj Narayan Rao, popularly known as Kaloji or the Prajagavi. Hope you understood very well children how to write a profile and the features of a profile. I think you might have enjoyed this lesson profile. Have a nice day. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.